Hello my friends and welcome! I bought these simple battery powered LED lights, 3 packages, and today I will show you how I will modify and use them to upgrade my balcony from this to this. These LED bulbs came with battery holders, so I need to modify and connect all 3 LED strings together and power them from the mains electrical system. So I was walking in a store in my city and I found these cheap outdoor LED bulbs. This package contains a string of 10 plastic bulbs with a total of 50 LEDs, so each bulb has 5 tiny LEDs. I don't have a garden, so I plan to decorate my balcony. But first, let's see what I got for my money. Each string is powered by 3 AA batteries. Let's test it. This video is not sponsored by any battery brand. I am carefully masking the batteries, so you have no idea what batteries I am using, right? These LEDs produce a neutral white light, they are ok for the eyes and I am sure they will look good in a garden too. All 50 LEDs are connected in parallel and the string has a resistor in series to limit the current and a switch. This is a 10 ohm resistor and probably 0.5 watts, so it will heat up over time. These batteries are new, so they have 4.64 volts, and after the resistor the voltage drops to 2.91 volts. To measure the current I need to desolder the positive wire and connect an ammeter in series. So we have 150 milliamps for this 50 LED string. In a few days the batteries will be dead and it will be very expensive to replace 9 batteries every time. I need a better power source. I can use a simple phone charger like this and connect the LEDs with a simple USB cable. Or even better I can remove the circuit from the charger and power the LEDs in a more convenient way. You need a charger with minimum 2 amps at 5 volts so it will not get hot when delivering a few hundred milliamps. I soldered two wires on the mains contacts and I removed the two USB ports. On the back of the board I measured and traced the 5 volts output and soldered two wires here. And now we have a 2 amps power supply with a little over 5 volts. Before continuing this episode I want you to please excuse my nasty nail. This is not dirt, I made a boo boo when I slammed the car door on my finger like a real mechanical nerd and this is the result after a few days. The positive LED wire is a little reddish, so this should be easy. This is the end of string 1 and this is the start of string number 2, I will connect them inside this bulb. There is some hot glue inside to hold the wires, so I need to be careful not to break them. And at this end we don't have a reddish wire, we have two wires of the same color, one of them is dotted, so which one is the positive? I will use the batteries to check the polarity. So the dotted wire is the positive. The next LED string will be soldered here. This is my ugly overpowered soldering gun. It's perfect for these thin wires, because why not? Let's check the solder joints. Both LED strings light up. I will insulate the joints with heat shrink tubes. The wires and LEDs will be inserted back in the bulb. I'm going to make a simple knot here so the wires don't accidentally get pulled out. And there we go, the strings are connected together, you can barely see the solder joints inside the bulb. I did the same thing with the third string, now we have 30 LED bulbs in a single string. They work, but after a few seconds, with so many LEDs, the resistor is getting hot. For the 5V charger I need a more powerful resistor. Let's try this 12 ohm and 10 watt resistor. It's working, but 150 LEDs should draw 450 milliamps. Let's try a lower value resistor, 6.8 ohms. It's better, 300 milliamps, but I noticed a problem. 
The current is lower, but the voltage after the resistor is higher, almost 3 volts. What's up with that? There is another thing. This is the first bulb, and this is the last bulb from the string. Do you see the difference in lighting? The first bulb is much brighter than the 30th bulb. Why is that? Let's open the last bulb and take some more measurements. The voltage on the last bulb is much lower than the voltage on the first bulb. So there are some big power losses on this long 30 bulb string. Let's measure the wire resistance, 2.9 ohms, minus the resistance of the multimeter leads, which is 0.2 ohms. The resistance of one wire is 2.7 ohms, times 2 because there are two wires, and we have 5.4 ohms. This is the total resistance of the string wires. So the last LEDs have a higher resistance in series than the first LEDs. That's why they draw less current and have a lower intensity. This is unacceptable and I'm pretty sure my assistant approves. So I will split the 30 bulb string in two parallel strings, each with 15 bulbs. This is the number 15 bulb. I will desolder and separate the wires here. And now this became the last bulb on the first string. I will make another nut on the cable and put the bulb back together. The first string is ready, now to modify the second string. I will use a piece of heat string tube to cover the mesh and hold it in position. Let's test both strings. They work. I will connect a 10 watt 10 ohm resistor in series with each string. 210 milliamps for 15 bulbs. That's a total of 420 milliamps for 30 bulbs. It's much better now. And the voltage of the first bulb on each string is 2.9 volts. That's perfect. If we compare the first bulb with the last one in this 15 bulb string, you can see there is still a difference in lighting between them, but much smaller compared to the 30 bulb string. Let's get back to the power supply. I left it on for half an hour to see if anything heats up. The ceramic resistor only warms up a bit. That's normal, it's converting the excess energy into heat. And after I unplug the charger, I can see that it's just a bit warm. I will insulate the charger circuit with Kepton tape. And then I'm going to cover it with white tape, so it doesn't look too ugly against the white ceiling. I soldered wires to the resistors and I will cover them in the same way. I soldered the two resistors to the positive output of the charger and I will insulate all the joints. Next I will solder the LED strings to the resistors and to the common negative. I added the mains cable on the charger circuit and now I can test everything. It's working, two strings of 15 LED bulbs each, powered by a phone charger. If you plan to build something like this for your garden, you can add more LEDs. Just make sure to calculate and test everything so the components don't heat up. But how do I make it simple and convenient to turn it on from the main electrical system? Safety first, I will disconnect the balcony circuit breakers. Now I can pull out the main switch and show you how it's wired. Remember that working on the main electrical system is dangerous and can be fatal, so don't do it if you're not qualified. And also in some countries it's illegal to make modifications to the home electrical system, so check with your local authorities first. From the main electrical system we have the blue wire, which is neutral, and goes directly to the ceiling. And red, which is the live wire, and goes to the two switches. One switch powers the red wire, that goes up to a light bulb, and the other switch powers the yellow wire, which can turn on a separate light bulb. I want to mount the LED string somewhere on the ceiling. Let's check the wires. The main bulb is connected between red and neutral. So I can connect the LED strings between neutral and yellow. It's a little difficult to hold the wires with one hand, the camera with the other hand, and the screwdriver with another hand. After a few tries I managed to connect the wires. Now I need to find a way to position the components so they fit here. Again it's a little difficult with one hand. There we go. 
To mount the strings on the ceiling, I will use these self-adhesive pads with hooks. Say hello to my nasty trusty work chair. And now comes the difficult part, to decide, together with my wife, how the strings will be arranged on the balcony. Don't worry, after only a few hours, we decided how to decorate the balcony. I will also replace the boring light bulb with a nice one. I can reconnect the circuit breakers now. And my work is done, this was a long day, it's already dark outside. Now I can turn on the lights individually. I can have sexy light, which is weird on the balcony, warm light or neutral light. The LEDs reflect on the windows and they make the balcony appear larger with more LED bulbs. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please share it, leave a comment below and I'll see you soon. Bye!